Hello everyone, this is Mohsin Saraj from the Ozen Engineering team. Today I want to show you that how to specify uh, inlet, outlet or other types of boundary conditions when you are uh, doing this in a uh, filament meshing. Not here as the usual way that you assign a name selection to the inlet outlets or whatever for safety simulation. Let's create a uh, an enclosure for this body as cylinder and accept the 25 percent and say yes okay so this is the enclosure as you can see and this is the solid part let's go for the sharing topology and here if it is a and here uh, we can assign a uh, use name selection to assign for example here to this face inlet with inlet name and uh, say that outlet boundary condition to this face on the other side with the name selection and these names will be moved and uh, to ANSYS fluent meshing and after that to the fluent and in this way we can assign the boundary condition so this is the usual way that uh, you can work on that but uh, if a very large model that as you can see I have uh, many many solid parts as you can see that it may be uh, hundreds of the parts and so we have many many interfaces between solid parts and also the volume domain that I created here as you can see and uh, <coughs> that I use it the uh, volume extraction here to to create this volume domain if for such a large model that I have uh, thousands of faces and ages to be shared among all these uh, solid parts and the uh, uh, fluid domain volume fluid domain sharing topology okay would take long 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 time even in one case for uh, for a very large model it could be matter of days only for sharing topology when we want to do sharing topology at once here for everything together for solid parts and fluid domain together uh, there is another workflow that we uh, basically uh, we remove the we remove the <coughs> uh, volume or fluid domain and we will do the uh, sharing topology only between uh, solid parts and then send out the, this model after sharing topology between solid parts to ANSYS fellow end for the meshing and over there we created the fluid domain and perform the, uh, perform the, the meshing so in this way when I have only solid parts here I don't have here the way uh, I cannot define inlet outlet boundary conditions in uh, with using name selection using name selection in in in, in ANSYS discovery or ANSYS space so for such application uh, I have a video to illustrate and demonstrate the workflow that I talked about that it is another video uh, I will put the address uh, link to that YouTube video in the description of this video that you can find it out how to deal with such a large uh, CFT simulation when you want to share topology and meshing and really reduce the time required for that uh, so this is uh, so back to the to, to the topic for this video uh, if we go to the back to the small uh, this this is a small <coughs> sample model that we have so 
either we have large model that I already explained to you that there is no way to define uh, faces for inlet or outlets okay uh, boundary conditions that because we don't have the fluid domain over there or suppose that here you forget you forget to 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 define the the the, the inlet outlet name selections so uh, now I want to show you that how to do this in uh, ANSYS fluent machine I just have one ball name selection which is it is for solid parts let's send this to fellow and meshing so I don't have any inlet outlet boundary conditions so far defined in a space claim or in ANSYS discovery send out this to for meshing in fellow and meshing This is the model that imported here. Okay. Now uh, I don't need for now any local sizes, and I go with it given values for the maximum, minimum for surface meshing. I have the surface meshing here. <coughs> for geometry, I just go by solid region, no capping and I don't need the uh, sharing topology or multi-zone just go describe geometry I need to add one fluid zone as you can see so I choose it as a fluid so this is solid walls this is what I use the name for that the name selection in ANSYS discovery and this part it is for the fluid domain before updating and performing the of the regions here I can <coughs> see that what I have here for the faces you can see that this is the enclosure that I have as you can see okay and you can see that this face this face and the faces on the other side are not split we can do it later uh, this is for the <coughs> for the solid parts and you can see how that is here let's uh, do the splitting here okay I choose the this face here and then I go here for splitting for separating the faces I can do it here you can see that now I have new faces at the two ends if you want to see that okay now this is all the only face that I have this is the face for this side and for the other side is this one okay let's go and name uh, this uh, refer, uh, rename the, this face click here and I can choose a different name here say that for example I want to set this to inlet and I can set the boundary type instead of wall which is the default boundary condition go for velocity inlet and say ok and for the other side again I uh, rename it I change the name to outlet 
set the boundary condition to pressure outlet and for this side change the name to say that uh, wall 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 one say that wall wall one and set this to wall so if you click here you, see, you can see that I have this one it is inlet and velocity inlet is the type this one it is uh, the outlet and the type it is pressure outlet and this one it is wall one and the type it is wall so uh, now I can update the region uh, for boundary layer let's see that if I have the zones or not correctly added the inlet the inlet outlet and whatever that I have see this is inlet we're correct this is outlet we have it and this is wall one and these are this is the another one that we have for the solid that uh, I haven't shown this here so if I come here and say that choose everything and display okay so this is the this is the solid parts okay uh, go back to only so add the bondy layer and for volume meshing just add minimum orthogonality condition to 0.15 and update Okay, let's see the volume meshing. At the walls, you can see that, that we have a boundary layer, no boundary layer at the inlet or outlet. But where we have the solids, okay, you can see that, that we have the boundary layer forming can see that okay so uh, <coughs> here we could define inlet outlets boundary condition and the walls uh, let's just save this mesh and go for uh, see what we have in fellow end Okay, let's start fellow end. Okay, this is fellow end. Uh, if you check the <coughs> model you can see that we have inlet outlet and these are the mesh and bondy layer at the inlet and outlet okay so let's check the boundary condition we have inlet we can see that We have inlet, okay, that we have it. If I want to display that, you can display that. This is 
inlet velocity inlet I can I can assign the velocity here if I want to see outlet then uh, this is outlet outlet display that we can see that this is the outlet and pressure outlet and wall one is uh, this one this is wall one that we have it and if we want to see the solids okay for sure we have wall and shadow wall because it is the solid and uh, fluid domain interface so if we say that for example this is the uh, solid part uh, let's show this we can see that here and this is the solid part so we could define inlet outlet and wall boundary conditions in fluent meshing and not not done here we don't have the name selection here for inlet outlets that uh, we have we usually do this in this way in ANSYS discovery but I just show you that have to do this in uh, fluent meshing so hopefully it could help you to work uh, faster sometimes with CFT simulation thank you very much for watching this video mm -hmm.